The way I see it, we are all technology enabled because we use um, different tech tools on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, we use Teams, we use Outlook, uh, Microsoft Word, those are all technology tools. So within that, I think we are all in different levels of our tech journey. Obviously, uh, there are some that are at the beginning, there are others that are further along, and there are those who go a bit farther and want to go a little bit more than the basic knowledge and, and try to excel with those core tools and look for more. So this is not only really helpful for the productivity and efficiency, but it's also help us to uh, help the business with to, to find solutions. So and I think that in business, uh, being a technology enabled lawyer, it's, it's also a mindset. Um, it's about seeing a process and trying to find a tech solution. But of course, there is not always the tech solution is the best, the best solution, so we have to accept that as well. Um, from a, a personal experience, uh, when I first interviewed for Chevron, one of the first things that my supervisor asked me is that he wanted me uh, for me to be a technology champion for the team. So at the beginning, I didn't quite understand what he meant about that. And to be honest, I was a bit skeptical about uh, technology. So I started to trying to know better the tools that I already knew, like um, OneNote or SharePoint. Um, and, and what I always think is that people sometimes wonder um, how to start the technology journey. And I think that the best way to do this is just to try to be better in the tools that you already know and I start from there. So in my case, I started to, well, knowing these tools. And then I became, for example, the, the um, information steward for our SharePoint site. And then I became the I manage power user for my team, which meant that I was the pinpoint person to answer questions about the platform and also to provide training to my team when they needed to. I think it's really important. I think the lawyer of the future will have to have a, a, at least start for a basic understanding of the legal tools, because it would only it would only be useful for their own productivity and efficiency, but it will also help them to find solutions for their own clients. So what I would say for the future lawyers or someone in the early stages of their law career is to go beyond of the basic knowledge of the tools of the tech tools. I would encourage them to go a little bit farther and try to understand the tools how, and how to help the clients with things. So be the person who answer the tech questions, be the pinpoint, and this will be incredibly helpful for the clients and for their, themselves. So from my experience, it really has been, and I really think that I have a lot more to learn.